Now, check this one out. This is about a woman who, she's out of work, she's out of money. She'd love to take a trip to Europe. So what she does, she, she fantasizes. She hangs around the New York City piers. She watches the boats go out and just dreams that she's on one of them. Now one day she's watching and she notices that, uh, you know, the, the, the boat's about to pull out. No one's around to see her. So she looks around, she sees no one's watching her. She runs right up the gangplank, okay? She runs across the deck, she runs down one of the holes of the ship. There's a tarpaulin in the, in the hole. She pulls a tarpaulin over her head and hides underneath it so no one can see it. Bolt pulls out, she thinks she's got it made. Now the first mate comes around and he's inspecting the, uh, the, you know, the, the boat and he sees this bulge in the, in the tarpaulin. He lifts it up and there's Marianne. And then she, she, she's all scared. She says, please, please, this is, you know, you're not going to put me on shore, are you? She says, no, I'm not. If you got a ticket, lady. She says, oh, I don't have anything. I don't have any job. I don't have money, money. She says, but lady, you know, in this world, it's nothing for nothing. Says, you, you, you're going to put me on, on, on shore? She says, well, you got something to offer? She says, oh, I told you I have nothing. She says, oh, look, lady, I don't want to do this for you, but look, if I keep you on board, and I want, uh, I want some action from you. When I come down, uh, you, you'll, uh, you'll be prepared. I'll, I'll give you three meals a day. I'll bring them to you. But every time I bring you a meal, you got, you got to give me a little action. So she, she agrees and she's not too crazy about it. First week goes by, it's, it's not so bad, you know. She's, um, you know, it's kind of fun. Second week goes by, she gets a little worn down. You know, she's a little wary, weary of it. Third week comes right, she's really dilapidated. Every time he comes around, she starts to groan. Well, one day, she's uh, down in the hole, and one of the deckhands comes below. She, you know, by this time, if she figures it's been four weeks out to sea, they're not gonna put me out for, uh, on shore. If they do, it'll be where I wanna go anyway. So she gets brave enough to ask the deckhand, you know, how far they are from shore. She says, oh, about a mile, lady, we're gonna be docking soon. So oh, that's great, that's great. She eats and looks at it and says, by the way, what are you doing down there? So she, she explains about the, you know, the arrangement that she made with the, the, the first mate. She says, how, how long you been here? She says, four weeks. Says, four weeks? Four weeks? She says, well, you know, he, he, he would have, uh, he, he was going to put me out on shore unless I let him screw me. So Deccan says, oh, lady, he sure did. This is the Staten Island Ferry. 